Um, I continue my exegesis of um, your video about your intellectual journey, uh, Michael. And um, if you want to know me, uh, read the book that I discovered thanks to you, which is Hegel and the Hermetic Tradition. And you just have to understand that I am what Hegel calls reason and also the negative. And I will continue my exegesis until you understand me. Uh, because I, I, I want you to understand me, and when you do, you will understand yourself, and you will be able to, to become who you are, and to illuminate others, and to organize your knowledge, to systematize your knowledge, to, to rationally order and logically structure your knowledge, and to share it, and you will become the, um, the manifestation of of God's ID in the realm of objective spirit and you will become uh, true to your own concept in a way. Uh, so you said that you felt lost and the feeling of, of, of being lost in the world is when we are confronted by a world that which we do not understand and the only way to feel at home in the world is to rationally understand the whole the whole the whole of being to not in its detail, because it's impossible, but to have a global universal understanding of the movements at work and the structure of being in an encyclopedic fashion. And you are very intelligent, you are well educated, but also you have traveled uh, a path of your own. You have strayed away uh, from the, the classical path of traditional education, although you're a philosophical major you have a, a major in philosophy or whatever, but you have traveled on your own, you have discovered truths which are, which have become your own and you have adopted a broad view of, of the functioning of, of, of politics and sociology and, and, and law and the financial system and you have uh, uh, developed and grown as, and, and you have become a strong and, and intelligent character. And um, yeah, you said that there's nothing new under the sun uh, and the, the eternal sun, Sol Invictus, in the European tradition, is the the all illuminating light which uh, reflects upon itself through us that we we all possess a divine light within us, and our purpose on this earth is to make the light of the sun shine even in the dark. And you are. Uh, an enlightening person, an, uh, an illuminating person, and I want you to to hear the the words of the Eternal Son that, in my best moments, I express through a transcendence of my limited individual self, and I want you to recognize the inner Son within you. Uh, you said that you want to understand yourself, and uh, what I can add is that you said you, you want to understand your history, your people, your culture, your heritage, and because you are what Spinoza would call a mode of the one infinite substance, you cannot understand yourself as a, a microcosm of the macrocosm without understanding the whole of being in its broad aspect. So. Uh, by, by searching for a, a, a quest for self-understanding and, and, and a re-establishment of self-identity, you have uh, endeavor to, to, to inquire in the realm of, of biology, of culture, of politics. And I want you to adopt an encyclopedic view of your being and to reconstruct in your mind the, the plan, the logos of the totality, which is contained within your soul, because each individual soul has a a view of the totality within itself, it, it must simply be um, developed, it must be helped to, to grow, it must be uh, illuminated. And, and um, the process that you have started by, by seeking your roots and your true identity, unconsciously, it is the process of, of being itself, which is uh, seeking for, for a stable, a firm, a strong sense of identity. And everyone is looking for something, they don't know why, but actually they are looking for God, which is the re-establishment of self-identity with the whole of being. 
And uh, you cannot understand yourself, Michael, without understanding your biological determinations, which are a product of the entire history of, of life on this planet, which is itself in the continuation of the history of, of, of cosmology. And you must understand your European roots, the state of American culture and American society, uh, the state of, of world politics, the financial system. So the moment you decide to, to, to ask yourself the question, who am I? You cannot find a satisfactory answer to this question without understanding, without answering the question, what is being? And Hegel gives us the answer. Being is the self-development of itself, the self-negation of itself, uh, whose purpose is to re-establish absolute knowing by an absolute relation to itself in its difference. So the purpose of being, the quest for knowing itself, is, is to, to become absolute and you are a moment in the process of the, the, the movement of the self-revelation of the absolute and by seeking to understand yourself you have uncovered uh, wisdom and understanding and knowledge about many aspects of being and uh, I want you to systematize your knowledge and to, to organize your knowledge and to understand yourself as, as a moment, as a part in this process of, of self-revelation of, of, of being. Um, you were tempted to, to join nihilism. Um, you said that meaning and value must be found within human. And in the book, Hegel and the Hermetic Tradition, it is said that God makes himself human and it is through man by producing a complete speech, a, a, a total logical speech about the nature of being that man gives meaning to, to his existence and, 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 and offers to God the self-knowledge of, of God within man and that um, the, the meaning of being must be given by man himself and, and, and God must understand through man what it means to be. And uh, yeah, you said that Nietzsche is, is a manifestation of, of the expression of life and you said that uh, according to Nietzsche we should wholly affirm life and there's a, a very uh, funny play with word because I, I'm not good enough in English to understand whether holy means holy like holiday or woolly like the whole, the totality. But for Hegel they are identical. What is whole, what is total is, is holy, it's, it's sacred. So that, that works only in English. It, it's quite a uh, quite spiritual uh, and comical joke. Uh, yeah. Uh, where does your identity come from as an individual? My answer is your identity comes from your relationship to God, which is the, the highest principle, the, my, what I call my higher self, which is also your higher self, because it is the, the, the higher self which is identical in every singular consciousness. And you can only find your identity by fulfilling the purpose the role that, that the, this higher principle wants you to play. And my purpose as a limited empirical individual is to, to reveal yourself to yourself and to help you remember who you are. And to remember means to put back all the members of, of, of the divine totality which have been separated, to put them back together and to, to make connections and links and internal relationships between all the, the layers of being and, uh, yeah, that's what I, I can and that, well, that's what I want to bring to you. Um, you ask yourself, what do I want to accomplish? My answer is, you want a Nietzschean existence. That's what you want and that's what God wants for you. And one day you will understand that Hegel and Nietzsche are two aspects of the same self-thinking totality. And when you understand the profound unity within difference, but unity nonetheless, of Hegel and Nietzsche, you will have understood God. Uh, and you ask yourself, is accomplishment the will to do something enjoyable? Or is there something more, a higher purpose, a higher meaning? Is enjoyment the end, uh, the end goal of all things? Is there, is, isn't there a higher truth, a higher value? And my answer, which is Nietzsche's answer, is that the purpose of accomplishment is to overcome resistance, to, to assert your, your inner will to power, which is the manifestation of the primordial will 
of 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 being of 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 the darkness which which is the pure nothing the, the primordial will to extract itself from itself and to 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 come into a, a a self relation, a relation of self cognition with itself, and this primordial will, which in the system of Hegel is the logical necessity, is a will to overcome itself and to conquer itself and to to fall in love with itself in its in its magnificence and it, in its uh, in its full self understanding. So, <coughs> the purpose of your, of your existence, Michael, is to overcome resistance and to transcend uh, your will to power. And to assert and, and to transcend at the same time by, by transforming this primordial instinct. You like talking about instinct, but uh, 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 we have an instinct towards rationality and, and what you want, but you don't know, but I'm telling you, is to have a full understanding of being. And, and I'm, I'm here to help you assert your, your, um, your real self and to accomplish and to achieve your, your purpose. Um, you said that uh, fun and happiness are good and all, but is that all that life's about? Life is about asserting values, about transcending oneself, about overcoming the resistance, about uh, loving, uh, loving the, 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 the loving life for its own its own self, and, and wishing it to be eternal, and to to wish and to want the eternal return of all things. With, with the pain and the joy and and and, and, and the, the magnificence of um, of um, of life um, you wonder there must be a higher purpose and your higher purpose is to attain God consciousness or divine consciousness is to realize the divine within you and to become uh, aware of your um, your your essential and conceptual identity. Uh, you say that there must be things which are more meaningful than your, than your own personal feelings. And the philosophy of Hegel is the philosophy which teaches us to, to transcend our own individual uh, particular aspect and to elevate ourselves towards the universal, and which is the mind and the reason, which is identical in all. That's why reason is universal. And you are here to remind me that I myself must transcend myself and I must abandon my selfish little self and elevate myself to transcendence and to reason and to universality. Um, and you said that the greatest people in history had a, a vision which they thrust upon the world in an aggressive fashion and aggressivity for the sake of, of, of negating in a violent way without asserting something positive is to be rejected. But aggressiveness with the will to impose a, a, a sublime vision, a grand vision, a, 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 an amazing view of being, this is something which must be accepted. And, and this, this will to power uh, to, to, to assert uh, the positive within the negative is the entire purpose of the philosophy of Hegel. And you said that you admire Alexander, Caesar, Augustus, Charlemagne, Alfred the Great, Ragnar Lothbrok, Napoleon, and all the mythological heroes, which had, according to you, a, a righteously aggressive uh, behavior, and they exemplified strength, cunning, skill, and beauty. And uh, I know that my higher self is what Hegel calls reason, and reason is cunning because reason is using the passions and the flaws of the individuals to achieve its own purpose. So reason is the ultimate... Uh, cunning and, and the ultimate master of, of deceit and, and, and of self-seeking because reason is using us to achieve its own purpose which is to become fully manifest to itself and um, my, my vision for you Michael is that I want you to become uh, the teacher of objective spirit I want you to become uh, fully aware of, of, of the role that you have to play in, in world politics. You, jo you don't just have to make videos on the internet, you have to assert your identity and to, to prove to others that you have a full understanding of how what Hegel calls um, objective spirit works and, and your purpose is to illuminate others and to, to assert uh, your being by, by becoming a master of objective spirit, which is the, the eternal manifestation of, of God's spirit to himself. And um, I will continue my videos, but hopefully you are 
starting to to see the vision that I have for you. And uh, yeah.